has come. Amen. The time for your miraculous, speedy, urgent, and emergent turnaround has come. Amen. I like to be excited. God is still on the throne. God is faithful. God is awesome. God is awesome. No matter what you're going through in your life, be excited. You know what the psalmist said in Psalm 34 and verse 1? I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil steal your joy in God. Ah, this is awesome. God wants us to continually get happy, get excited and love him daily. So welcome to Wonders Without Number. Like I said, let your joy come alive. Let your joy come alive. I'm telling you, I'm encouraging someone this morning or this afternoon or evening or any noon, whatever time zone you are in, it's time to be excited and be joyful. Paul said in Philippians 4 verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3, For with joy shall we draw water out of the wells of salvation. There are depths in God that can never be assessed outside the platform of joy. Joy gives you access into the deep things of the spirit. I say that again. Joy gives you access to the deep things of the spirit. As a matter of fact, God judges people who are not joyful. God can judge people. So the word of the Lord says in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 47, that because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness of uh, and gladness of heart, he said, Thou shalt serve the enemies. Verse 48. Thou shalt serve the enemies. That shall not be your portion. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So we want you today to be joyful. We have to be joyful. We are entering into a new week. For some of us who are already in GMT zone, we are already in a new week. On Monday. The week of Monday, rather. But some of us are entering into the new week in the different zones we are. So it's important for you to maintain that joy, that joy well up in your spirit, well up in your heart. In James 1, from verse 2, he said, Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. James 1, from verse 2, Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. For you know that the trying of your faith, verse 3, work at patience. Let patience have a perfect work in you, that you may be entire, wanting nothing, verse 4. So God wants you to be joyful joyful jesus saw the cross he saw the cross how come he went through the cross because there was joy set before him hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1 seeing that we are so encompassed with a great cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and seeing that those so easily beset us and run with patience the way set before us verse 2 says looking unto jesus the author and finish up our faith who for the joy that was set before him. Enjoy the cross, despise the shame, and right now he's set at the right hand of majesty on high. So what propelled him to carry that cross was joy. When you have the joy of the Lord in your heart, no matter what your experience you're going through, you just keep loving him. In fact, the cross moves you closer to him when you walk in joy. In Psalm 16 verse 11, that will show me the path of life. But in thy presence there is fullness of joy. And the right hand that pleasures forever. So be joyful. Right now, welcome. Touch the like button, everyone watching around the world, and share the link to everyone you can share the link to. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. Touch the like button and share the link. Share the link so that it can pop up easily for somebody to watch. Christians, let's not be docile. Okay, let's not be docile. Today, one of the problems we have with believers is that they are very self-centered. They are just about themselves. It's all about themselves. It's all about themselves. No. Be a blessing to somebody. And that's the generation of believers that God is going to be exceptional with in his work, in his anointing. Because these are a generation of believers who are not self-centered. They look for every opportunity to push a blessing to somebody. Do that now. Touch the like button and let it be a blessing to somebody. And share the link to us. Everybody on your contact. Share the link. Let them come join us to pray today. Well, let us get, take some matured prayers. We have done some spiritual mappings. I will understand the mind of God for this moment. So touch the like button and let's just pray and talk to the Almighty. Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you glory. Not a man, oh. you're not a man. 
mano You are the God that opened us No man can shut You are not a man oh. You are not a man oh. You are the God of everything No one like you You are the God of everything, no one like you. You are the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you, Savior. No one like you. No one like you, Master. No one like you, Savior. You are the God of everything. No one like you. You are the God of everything. No one like you. You are the God of everything. No one like you. You are the God of everything. No one like you. You are the God of everything. No one like you. Adonai. 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 The one that you have saved. It's time to worship you. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. All the nights keeping God, I give you all the praise. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. One that you have said has come to worship you. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. All the nights keeping God, I give you all the praise. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. The one that you have said has come to worship you. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Keeping God, we give you all the praise. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel. I must glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I must magnify Emmanuel. I will magnify Emmanuel. Emmanuel. 
Emmanuel, Emmanuel, how we magnify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel, glorify Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will magnify Emmanuel, magnify Emmanuel, 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 magnify Emmanuel, magnify Emmanuel, magnify Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. I will magnify Emmanuel. I will magnify Emmanuel. I will magnify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. I will magnify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, glorify. Ah, the glory of God is so strong today. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I will glorify Emmanuel. Sali balada grasa ta braga bayata. We love you, Lord. We bless your name. We bow before your throne. You are Adonai. Faithful is your name. We welcome, welcome, Father. You are the God most high. You are Adonai, faithful is your name. Miracle working Father, God most high. You are Adonai, faithful is your name. Miracle working Father, God most high. It's your name, miracle working father, and God must act. We love you, Jesus. We bring our bala 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 bala. We praise your name. Let people see the you in me, not just me. Let people hear the you in me, not just me. Let people learn to seek your ways as you live your life through me. Let people see the you in me, not just me. Let people see the you in me, not just in me. Let people hear the you in me, not just in me. Let people learn to seek your ways as you lead your life through me. Let people see the you in me, not just in me. Let people come to seek your ways as you lead your life to me. Let people see the you in me, not just me. Let people see the you in me, not just in me. Let people hear the you in me, not just in me. Let people learn to seek your ways as you lead 
give your life to me. Let people see you in me, not just me. And I'm gonna match. Oh, 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 Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the Lamb of God. We love you. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to consider something here in Psalm 103 and verse 7. Psalm 103, verse 7, the word of the Lord says, He made known his ways unto Moses. His acts unto the children of Israel. He made known his ways unto Moses. His acts unto the children of Israel. Now this is, we are going to dissect for something here. He made known his ways to Moses, an individual. He made known his acts to the children, a group. I am going to pray to the Lord this day and tell the Lord, make known your ways to me. Amen. Knowing God and knowing the ways of God is walking in close proximity with God and that's on the platform of individuality. You got to work out your observation. Philippians 2.12 I believe. Then Philippians 2.13 says God is God that works in us both to will and to do of a good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2. Verse 12 says, walk out the salvation with fear and trembling. You've got to work it out with God. Your relationship with God, making known the ways of God, is you working in proximity and intimacy with God. Moses was a man that was so close to God in fellowship. God made known his ways unto Moses. In Exodus 33 verse 18, Moses told him, show me your glory. Moses was saying, I want to know you for you. And God said to Moses, verse 21 of that portion of scripture, he said, there's a side by me. There's a dimension in me. God is raising up a generation of people that will be so close and so intimate with God. The Bible says in Exodus 34, I believe verse 29, that when Moses came down from talking with God, his face shone like light. His face shone when he came down from the mountain. That Moses was not. Moses was not aware that as God was talking to him, his face was shining. Whenever you maintain intimacy with God in His presence, even your your youth gets renewed. Your youth gets renewed. People just sit and they are wondering why you are going younger, and there's a glow on you. Why? Because you are spending time with God. When you know the ways of God, you know the manifestations. Of divine ordinances no wonder he said in Isaiah 55 11 my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are my ways your ways Isaiah 55 verse 8 sorry my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are my ways your ways neither so what is equivalent to the ways of God the thoughts of God when you understand the ways of God you start thinking like God Psalm 82 from verse 5 to 7 they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. For the foundation of the earth is out of course. For I have said, ye are gods, and ye are all children of the Most High. Say, but they shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. What puts you in the class of God? The word of God. John chapter 10 verse 35. If you call them gods unto whom the word came. John 10 35. If you call them gods unto whom the word came. John chapter 10 verse 35. If you call them gods unto whom the word came. For the scripture cannot be broken. The more of God's word you have inside of you, the more your God realm is established. The more addicted you are to scripture, the more you start understanding the ways of God. He made his ways known and making known his ways is on the platform of individuality. He made known 
his ways to Moses. And it acts to the children of Israel. God wants you to know him personally. Knowing the ways of God is knowing God personally, intimately, intensely. One time Jesus was talking to his disciples. Jesus assumed. He assumed. It was an assumption. Just the way he assumes and expects rather that most of us who have been around church and everything religious and spiritual going through the motions of worship and leadership in the a different place of worship God expects by now would have known him well. He assumed. So he said something in John chapter 14 verse 4. He said, where I go, you know. The way you know. And Thomas said, no, you are making a mistake. We don't know where you are going. We don't know the way. What? Jesus now said, you don't know where I'm going? Now that you know the way? Because if you know the way, then you know the move of God. He said, okay, fine. Let me start. Let me take you back to basis. I am the way. Verse 6. The truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He assumed they knew the way. So there are many who have been around the corridors of worship. They've been leaders in church 18 years, 20 years assistant pastor, 30 years head of department, 15 years uh, 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 head of protocol, 10 years head of breeders, head of ushers, and all of that. But they have not known the way. In other words, they've not taken it upon themselves that this almighty God, I want to be so close to him. Not necessarily because of what I want, but I want to know him. The one that Paul said in scriptures in Philippians 3 verse 10 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection what made Paul outstanding that Paul wrote to three quarters of the New Testament what made him outstanding it's because from the day he met the Lord in Acts uh, chapter 9 verse 6 what would you have me do it's about you it's about you so God wants you to be intimate with him Lord make known make known your ways to me Amen. Amen. When you know the ways of God, you 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 will not be bothering yourself about decision on who to marry, decision of what company to work with. This, no, when you make know the ways of God, the Holy Spirit becomes so real to you. When God makes known His ways to you, rather, the Holy Spirit becomes so real to you, so real to you. I remember when I was cutting my wife before we got married, and she was going on a journey to write an exam. As I just stayed back watching the Holy Spirit, I was seeing her in the car. I was just seeing her in the car. I saw the car that she entered. I saw her was sitting by her side. We are in courtship. I saw where the car broke down. I saw where she came down from the car, the car, the problem. I saw how she entered another car. I saw somebody sitting by her side in that car. I saw everything. When she was coming back again, I saw everything. And I called her on the phone. Then the mobile phone just came out. The answer just came out then. And I called her. And I said, how's your trip? She said, fine. I said, okay. What happened? Why did that, that car break down? She was like, I don't understand. What are you saying? I said, why did that car break down? What, is, what was the reason for the breakdown? She said, I described the car. There was nobody I knew that was there. I described the car for her. I told her when it broke down, when it, she came down from the car. I said, she entered another car. She was saying, wait. I don't understand. What's going on? And I told her everything. What happened? The ways of God. It wasn't, I wasn't asking God to show me, no. There's a level of intimacy you have with the Holy Spirit that even what you don't ask, you are shown. You don't need to ask. It just shows you. It's a level of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And that's the ways of God. God will make known His ways to you. Amen. That's the generation of people God is raising up. Like Moses. The Bible says, Psalm 25 verse 9, the meek will he show and teach his ways. For you to enjoy the ways of God, you've got to be meek. You've got to have the heart of a baby. That was why Moses in Numbers 12 verse 3, the Bible says, there was no man as meek as Moses on the face of the earth. Moses was the meekest man above all men. Simple to approach. Humble before God. Humble before God. Hungry, passionate, childlike. When you come before God with the heart of a child, not you are praying and you are acting, all matured and grown i want to remain a baby in the hands of god i tell people all the time if you want to see my child likeness you can be childlike but not childish you want to see my child likeness as when it comes to god's presence 
I forget about everything. I dance. When I'm praying, my whole heart is in the prayer. When I'm studying, my whole life is in the word of God. That's what it takes. He made known his ways to Moses. God said, those who, can you can see that, this act to the children of Israel. So those who know his ways are few. That know his ways. That are to walk with the Holy Spirit. You are going to pray that prayer today. Oh Lord, make known your ways to me. Amen. I want to know the ways of God. I want to walk with God. Not just for God. There are men who are walking for God, but they're not working with God. I mean, they are genuinely working for God. Why do you think the Bible says Jesus said on that day, I will say, I never knew you. He said, you, you said we did miracles in your name. They were not faking it. They were not diabolical. They were not manipulative. The miracles were done in his name. Not through diabolic means. You say, we did this in your name. We cast out devils in your name. We heal the sick in your name. He said, but I will say, I never knew you. In other words, we didn't have a close fellowship. You are banking on the gifts that I've given to you. In the name of your prophecy, so there are three arms of ministry. Although those of you who are ministers, that should be careful. First of all, as a prophet, have you not prophesied in your name? You must be very careful if you are in the prophetic ministry. You must balance your prophetic ministry with the word of God, or else you will just go astray. If you are in the prophetic ministry, you must be addicted to the word. In fact, if you are not a man of the word, you should not be called a prophet. Because the Bible says that after they heard him, they said a great prophet has arisen in Israel. After they heard him, the Bible says Jesus is a man, a prophet, mighty in the word. So if you are the prophetic, you've got to check, put a check on yourself by constantly being addicted to the word of God. Bring that scripture up again. He said, they will say, have we not prophesied in your name? Matthew 7, 21 and 22. 21 says, no men that say, Lord, Lord, shall I inherit the kingdom of God, but he that do the will of my father. Verse 22, many will say on that day, have we not prophesied? So the prophetic ministers, very careful. Secondly, say, many will say in thy name, have we not cast out devils? You must be very careful also. Those in the deliverance ministry, I should be careful. Casting out devils should be for free, should not be commercialized. Casting out devils should be understood to, to, to be backed up with the word of God because he sent his word, his word delivered them. And the third, he says, In thy name did many, many wonderful works, manifestation of the gift of the Spirit. So once you are gifted, you are in trouble. The next thing you must pursue is intimacy. So I will profess, I never knew the new workers of iniquity. Meaning, they were not working with God. So intimacy is what God expects from us. Manifestations are good, they are very powerful. We need them, we need them. And I'm going to pray about them today. But, we must pray, Lord, make your ways known to me. Make me know your ways. Make mm -hmm. me know your ways. He made. He made. It's something about God. He wants you to know him. He's still the one that will give you power to, to know him. He made. He put Moses under compulsion. When I say make me know your ways, I mean Lord, force me. Put me to that point where I have no choice. To be made means your whole will is taken. God has to put you, he has to, he has to, he has to put, put a barricade around you that will kill your wills. Kill what you think you are pursuing that will not glorify. He made. It was his making. It was not the expertise or qualification of Moses. He made it happen. So when I say, Lord, make me know your ways, I'm saying, Lord, conscript me to become enlisted in this army, army of those that should know your way. Conscript me to be enlisted in the army of those that will work with you. Conscript me. He made. It was not the making of Moses. So Moses was not there. Moses didn't know the ways of God because Moses was an expert or because Moses was intellectual or because Moses was an orator or because Moses was so qualified. No, it was the making of God. For us to know God, we need God to know God. Without God, without us, God will not. But without God, we cannot. Without us, God will not. But without God, we cannot. We need God to know. So we're going to take that prayer today. Oh Lord, make me know your ways. Amen. 
make me know your ways. Amen. That has to be the making of God. That you pick up the Bible to study has to be the making of God. That your eyes are open to revelations has to be the making of God. Make me. Even when my flesh is resist, make me. Even when I'm getting weary, make me. Even when the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak, make me. Amen. Even when there are distractions around me, make me. Amen. Amen. Even when the pressures of finances, the pressures of marriage, the pressures of attacks around me are getting overwhelming, make me know your ways. Amen. My hunger, Lord, is to know your way. Make me. Make me. Make me. Amen. Make me. Amen. Make me. Amen. Amen. It's God that does the making. It's God that, that the efficiency of men was the making of God. Matthew 4 verse 19. Matthew 9 verse 9. When he met Matthew was a tax collector make me you will take that prayer this morning and you will clap your hands as you begin to pray make me make me yeah, make me yeah, so follow me he said to, to, to peter and said to, to matthew in, in the, um, matthew 9 verse 9 follow me and i will make you fishers of men is the making of the lord you will pray this prayer this, this, this day and you pray it loud and clear. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. father. I can't hear you at all. My, my father, father, my father. It can be louder. My father, my father. father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin, I begin to, to pray. pray. Make me know your way. Make, 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 make me know your way. 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 Your mouth and fire prayers. I'm <laughs> 
Say made his made known his ways unto Moses and his acts, the children of Israel, and his act, the acts of God, and the manifestation of power, miracles, signs, wonder, strange move of God, the kind that happened in Egypt. In Exodus 8:19, the magician said, This is the finger of God. In your life, receive the finger of God. Amen. Receive the finger of God. Amen. You will type on your handle. I receive the finger of God. Amen. I receive in my life the finger of God. Amen. You type that and you hashtag wonders without number. In my life, I receive the finger of God. Amen. I receive the finger of God. Amen. The finger of God is what works mighty acts, mighty strange manifestation. The first Samuel 3 11 said, The ears of them that ears shall tingle. In Acts chapter 2 verse 22, talking about Jesus, the Bible says he was a man approved of God by many signs and wonders, which he did among the people. Signs and wonders are a seal of God's approval. Many signs, wonders, miracles and wonders and signs, which he did by, God did by him in the midst of you. And you yourself also know. In Acts 1 verse 3, he said he showed himself by many infallible proofs undeniable proofs acts 1 3 undeniable infallible 
unfatigable, indefatigable, unfathomable, strange and staggering wonders. Give me pray a prayer which I wrote here. Oh Lord, manifest your act in my life. Amen. Amen. Let me become a vehicle of the act of God. Amen. Once you know the ways of God, you see the acts of God. That's how it works. Once you know the ways of God, you become a conveyor, a carrier of the acts of God. Manifest your act in my life. Amen. Amen. My father, my father. My my father, father, father. father. I can't hear you loud. My my father, father. Father. In the name of Jesus. I know you are able. I I know you are able. able. Manifest your act in my life. I know you are able. Manifest your act in my life. I know you are able. Let your heart in my life. Open your mouth and fire your prayers right
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. May God make His ways known to you. Amen. May God make you know His way. Amen. I ask this day for an intimacy with God. Amen. A proximity, intensity with God. Amen. Enter into that season of relationship that is uncommon. Amen. The kind of walk and ways of God that was made known to Moses, may you begin to assess them. Amen. Amen. Belimana kruda ya talabato ka basile lo yoboto. Abina mana kustusi sakafifi purayata gadiana. 
Nagadia na zulu rosto gubriyadi ya kakatondo lo sukofista balarata Ene kwa kwa di le gerevojo de betondo bara yandi kasipa Kalanino zubra katala kadishke lo viyata kabasiata na munta na bayaka We come to you today Lamb of God Or someone You have been under some demonic attacks You seek to know God But there's a marine contact in your life so bad that anytime you're expecting something good a fish appears to you once you see that fish swimming swimming when you open your eyes literally in this world everything begins to scatter that fish dies now Amen. somebody by the name of jeffrey and your friends gave you a nickname they call you dollars that's what your friends call you but your name is jeffrey the Lord is showing me that there's a witchcraft. I'm seeing a family that's into witchcraft. You are not aware. Ask your parents. And that witchcraft has sold the glory of the family. But today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are free. Amen. Amen. Somebody watching me from Kampala, in Uganda. They're about to go for an operation. The Lord says, spend your money on something else because He has just healed you from that infirmity. Amen. Is somebody watching me from Pretoria in South Africa and you are heavily in debt. Serious debts you are owing. You have contemplated even taking your life. But God says, don't take your life. He's bringing you out of that mess. Amen. The pastor's wife watching me now you are crying but remember what your husband used to be in god how he used to love the lord used by god but now it's almost a mess it's opposite of what he was a crying the lord said to tell you that he will restore him Amen. Someone by the name of Kelvin, you are from Kansas. 